So with not having as much in the garden anymore and summer ending, I joined my local CSA, the Brewer Farms. Brewer Farms will keep me in fresh produce for several more months. So this is what I got this week in my CSA bag. Beautiful kale and onions and squash, radishes and jalapenos. I pick up my, my CSA bag every Saturday morning at the same place and uh, every week is different. So we're going to take this beautiful kale and uh, green onions and I've got a butternut squash that I grew from last year and we're going to make us a wonderful supper. We're going to cook this beautiful kale that I've got and this is pretty much the way that I cook any of my grains, spinach, anything like that. And we're going to start out with a pan full of diced up bacon. And I want you to look how that fat is rendering in this pan. It's going to be some good stuff. This bacon is from Porter Road. They have the best pork I've ever ate. They have the best meat I've ever ate. Porter Road. It's an online meat company. This tenderloin, we're going to cook it up. And... Uh, what I seasoned it with, I just kind of put a little bit of olive oil in a bowl big enough to roll the pork loin around in. And I put garlic and salt and pepper, and I put some thyme, and um, I'm trying to think, a little bit of basil, um, just a little bit of this and that, herbs that I like, and just kind of rolled it around in it, and now I'm going to brown all sides of it. Okay, let's get back to this <laughs> this beautiful pan of bacon. And I know you are looking at this and thinking, Lori, that's way too much fat in that pan, but oh no, it's not. It's going to make this kale taste wonderful. And I'm going to just put me a layer of kale down first, and then I'm going to season it and then put the rest of it on top. I just like to make sure that everything gets, you know, salt and pepper, garlic. So I'm just going to take a little bit of salt and just kind of sprinkle. Now I don't want to put too much because I know that bacon's got salt in it. Put a little bit of pepper. Now y'all can season your greens with anything you want, but this is just this little bit of garlic powder. And I'm just going to get the rest of my kale, layer it up there. Because you know this is going to cook down. It looks like a, a pan full, but it, it cooks down. Any greens is going to cook down like this. And I'm just going to take a little bit more salt. And some more pepper. And then my garlic. And uh, we're just going to let all these greens cook down in this bacon fat and all that bacon. Now I've got a couple of green onions, and I'm just going to cut them up on top. I love good green onions that aren't too stout, and these are really good ones. These come from Brewer Farms. It was in my CSA bag. I think I'm going to cut two of them up. You can use any kind of onion in it. You can even chop up um, some fresh garlic instead of your garlic powder. Either way, it's going to be good. Okay, guys, this hasn't cooked but just a couple minutes, and I want you to look how it's cooked down. But look how beautiful green. It just, it turns such a bright, beautiful green color. And I know it's going to, I just feel healthier just looking at it. <laughs> Kale is so good for you. And all that bacon. Oh, give me some cornbread. So I'm going to turn the heat down just a little bit and just let it simmer. But I've got some pear vinegar. This is my homemade vinegar, and you can use apple cider vinegar. And I'm just going to put about a tablespoon in there. And now I'm just going to stir it up and just let it simmer a little bit in that vinegar. And it's going to give it a really good taste. So my greens are pretty much done. So I'm just going to turn the fire off and just let it kind of heat up and simmer just a little bit. And because the pan, I've got some butternut squash that I. Uh, chopped up and I've had this oh so this is my butternut squash from last fall 
and this was my last one. And I just kind of roast it a little bit in the oven just to give it a head start. And I'm going to take my tenderloin that I've been browning on all sides, and uh, I'm going to put it in a 425 degree oven, and uh, I'm going to let it cook for about 20 minutes. I don't want it to cook too long. I just want to make sure that uh, the temp is good inside. And uh, this is going to be delicious. And just go ahead and, and cook the, my butternut squash the rest of the way. And you can see that garlic that I stuffed inside that piece of garlic I stuffed inside that tenderloin. Okay, after 20 minutes, here it is. I just got pulled it all together and it smells wonderful and it's going to be so good. First rain we've had in over a month. Thank you Lord. It's been awful dry around here. God bless everybody. We love y'all. Come back and see us.